Hi, I'm Elizabeth Terry, NLP trainer and master coach and positive intelligence coach and also the founder and CEO of Limitless Transformation Coaching and Training Services and UNO, Changing Minds and Changing Lives. Our schools are in dire trouble. They are challenged by youth who are largely disengaged, distracted, and they are underperforming. The latest results from the CXC Maths and English in 222 show even an increased decline. Not surprising, of course, due to COVID, which has made everything so much worse. There are behavioral issues in the classroom, conflicts, some that have even recently ended in tragedy. There is also a high dropout rate or low attendance at classes. There are other issues too. The schools have insufficient guidance counselors. The latest studies show that there is one guidance counselor to 500 students, woefully inadequate. There's a lack of access to additional resources, coaches, therapists, mentors, and of course, there are budgetary constraints. So our solution is UNO an edutainment game app that uses the best of neuroscience and Jamaican culture to empower youths 14 to 18 to make better life choices. It's an operating system for shifting the mindsets and behaviors of our youth. It starts with the exploration of who am I, an understanding of all that is available to young people internally, how their minds work and how they can best utilize their strengths, their talents in order to get the best possible outcomes in their lives. And then the development of mental fitness muscles, the ability to quickly move from saboteur to sage men mentality. And of course, that is building resilience and agility in our young people. And then how to apply that learning, those tools and information to make better personal choices for themselves, to improve their relationships and circumstances, to manage conflicts in a completely different way, to make positive choices for their own self-care and compassion, and to develop empathy and tolerance and understanding for others. And of course, 100% responsibility for their own lives. All of this built on a foundation of neurolinguistic programming, positive intelligence, positive psychology, and positive youth development. But it's more than a mobile app, much more. It starts in the front with a web portal where the school can actually register their teachers, their facilitators, and download the app and also conduct risk assessment profiles of their students. Then there is access to the students for the actual game itself, where they can accumulate tokens and digital badges and share with their peers their learnings. There's Brata also. Through Brata, they are able to access the learning management system where there is copious resources to assist them in their further development pre and post assessments, and of course, a leaderboard to gamify what they're learning and to recognize their progress. And then, of course, there is the final piece, access to additional support services where volunteers who are therapists, coaches, mentors can register and the school can uh, arrange and schedule additional sessions with these individuals. So Joshua's journey, let's look at how he is going to experience the app. Wellington High purchases a license, they download the app and register, and then distribute the link to the students. They also in turn download the app and start their first gameplay experience. After each module, they're able to access additional resources in the learning management system. And throughout it all, they collect tokens and digital badges and they can share with their peers in a community channel. And of course, at the end, they have um, access to a completion certificate and the ability to compete for prizes, tangible prizes. All of this is supported with the administrative panel, which allows the teachers and facilitators to monitor the progress of students. What makes UNO really unique and stand out from the rest of the competition is the fact that it actually has 
um, the ability for schools to do the online assessment and tracking. Uh, it incorporates the self-discovery and mind and behavior change tools. It's affordable, which is of course so very important for the schools and they have access to additional experts. And in phase two, we plan facilitator and parent support. Students will find it fun and engaging because of course we are using Jamaican images, scenarios, music, and so it'll be exceedingly relatable and interesting for them. And of course, we anticipate tangible prizes for those that do really well. We believe that this app has applicability not only in Jamaica, but there is a market in the English speaking Caribbean, certainly, and even further afield in Africa where we are very culturally aligned. Our UNO revenue model is based on subscriptions sold to schools and NGOs and youth agencies. And of course, of the, we are thinking right now in terms of our calculations of $10,000 per person per year. So access for an entire year. And of course, we recognize that some schools will not be able to afford it. And we will seek sponsorship from the diaspora, from multilaterals and from corporate donors and foundations to fill these gaps. And how will UNO itself generate revenue, additional revenue streams, other income sources from different target markets so that we can reach all the Joshua's of the world? The milestones we have achieved to date um, are First of all, we completed the prototype with the assistance of the CB Facey Foundation and the JMMB Joan Duncan Foundation and the Planning Institute of Jamaica Community Renewal Program. Since then, we have done additional research. I myself entered into the World Cup Entrepreneurship Competition and I was able to bring home the Jamaican and second place in the regional um, competition and placed in the final 100 internationally. I've done additional research and now we are developing partnerships with other companies and agencies in an effort to raise $15 million for the minimum viable product of which we have raised approximately 6 million to date. In January, we intend to start the development for the MVP and complete that by September, 2023 along with developing a network of government, private and NGO and diaspora uh, partners in order to sustain the program. And by October to release this into um, the school, the first pilot school, which be St. Anne's CAP school. And of course, monitoring and evaluation. And we anticipate by June of next year, um, sorry, June of 2024, we'll complete the evaluation lessons learned and we will then roll out the sustainability and expansion plan. Our current partners include Rise Life Management Services, St. Annie's High, and of course the Planning Institute CRP program. The team is led by myself. Um, we have a tech lead, Jason Scott, with years of experience in the field, and our game app developer is Glenn Henry of Sprite Wrench fame. Our content developer videographer is uh, Michelle Geister, the original uh, developer of TBJ's Smile Jamaica program, the producer. And we have also sourced additional expertise beyond Jamaica's shores for um, our content development for SCORM files from CR squared and uh, in India for our IT architecture and LMS design. We anticipate that in phase two, we will be connecting the youth to additional training and education opportunities, additional jobs, entrepreneurship support for those that are so inclined. And of course, to help build the ecosystem to support what we have done, it's necessary to reach out to parents and guardians, teachers and administrators as well. In July of 2021, when I presented the UNO app to the then president of the Association of Deans of Discipline, he said, this would be an answered prayer. We hope that you will help us to answer that prayer for all the Jamaican youth. <laughs>